seriously, bro? It's like the fifth take. Hello, book dragons. It's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. My dogs and cats are out in full force. There's going to be a lot of noises in the background. I always say that my channel is also ASMR for pet noises. My one cat is irritating the other one, so there's some hissing in the background, and my dogs are just doing their thing. I'm very sorry for the noise, but here we are. It has been over a year since I have filmed anything or posted any videos, and for that I'm very sorry. I took some time off at the beginning of the year last year for some mental health reasons, and then COVID hit, and I'm an essential worker, so work was very stressful. When I came home, I just kind of vegged out and I didn't read anything, therefore I didn't have any content and I just didn't really feel the need to make any content or be creative at all. And then I unfortunately got sick with COVID over the summer and I was sick for a very long time. I still have some symptoms that I'm dealing with. You can probably hear it in my voice. My voice hasn't recovered. I still have to cough a lot and my voice just gives out and sometimes I get winded when I'm just talking and that might happen in my videos and for that, if that's irritating to you, I'm very sorry. I just... This is where I'm at right now. I thought it would make sense that my first video back on this channel, or at least the first video I'm recording, I don't know which order I'm going to do as far as posting goes, but I really wanted to come on here and talk about my channel and where I see it going in this next year and kind of my reading goals. My goal this year as far as my channel is concerned for um, content is I would love to get back to posting to twice a week. I just don't know um, in the first few months if that's going to be possible for me. Not only am I still dealing with symptoms and my energy, I am also very busy with some other things. Megan and I are trying to buy a house. So there's a lot going on right now outside of this book community booktube realm. So I think at least in the first few months, I my goal is to try and do twice a week, but I may have to settle on once a week with an extra upload here and there. Another thing for um, these videos, and it has to do with us trying to buy a house, we have been trying for almost a year now. It has been very um, discouraging <laughs> because the housing market is just ridiculous right now but we have started packing and so there are some things blocking my bookshelves so for the next until we buy a house and move this will be my background which also means that there's going to be more pets in my videos like we've got one here and just more pet sounds because I'm filming in the living room which is where they usually hang out. That's another thing that's going to be happening the next few months potentially. Hopefully we find we get a house soon. Again this has been a long process. Weasley making grunting noises in the background. Because I am out of practice with reading, I've read the lowest amount last in one year last year than I've ever done in my entire life and I think I only read about six books and I think over half of them were with audiobooks. So I decided not to put a huge number on my reading goal for this year. I did 40 or 45 something like that because I didn't want to put a lot of pressure on myself. That was part of what took a long time for me to film some more videos because I could have always done reading vlogs, at least until I got sick. But I had a lot of pressure on content and needing to read a lot of books. And I just don't want to do that this year. The year, I think it was 2019, where I um, had a full year of booktube content, I read a lot of disappointing books or just a lot of meh books so I want to be a lot more selective in the books that I read this year. I don't want to get sucked into the hype. I don't want to sucked into number count so I'm just going to read what amount feels good for me and I think reading about three to four books in a month is 
great. So that's where I'm at with my reading goal. So another goal that I really want to focus on is um, my bookstagram. I've never really focused on it that much. I even had like my dad build this cool background that I can put books on for pictures and I just haven't really done it yet. So that's something that I really want to focus on. I think even if I'm mentally unable to that is not in a place to film videos. I can at least edit photos and go that route. So that's something that I also want to do. My goal for this next year is to just make this booktube, bookstagram, book community thing as enjoyable as it was when I first started. I'm acting like I've been doing this for years and years, but I just I don't want to care about numbers. I don't want to care about anything like that. I just kind of want to read books, gush about books, rant and rave about books, and that's kind of what I'm focusing on this next year. I also am deciding a little bit more of an aesthetic that I want to go with. I don't want my channel to be known as ASMR for animal noises, but here we are. To all of you who reached out to me during this last year and just shared your love and acceptance with me and just made me still feel like I was a part of this community. I appreciate you. That really helped me get over being sick. I don't really want to go into a lot of detail about what that was like. Just know it was hell and there were times where I genuinely thought I was going to die. No drama. There were times where I literally couldn't breathe. It was very scary. So for those of you who reached out to me, it meant the world to me. And just know that you have a special place in my heart and you helped me recover. Don't get emotional. <laughs> for those of you who are going to be new to my channel and new to me, hello, welcome. We love having you here. We're nerdy. We love corgis. We love fluffy cats. I'm wearing dogs on my shirt. Welcome. I'm trying to remember my outro. Um, one of the things I want to say is stay safe, wear your masks, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and as always, be nice to yourself and be kind to others. Bye!